Hello guys and welcome to tonight's first ever Friday Night Fellowship. In this series, what we're basically going to be doing is we are going to be playing the Fellowship Medieval Mod Pack. And yeah, I'm going to have my little sister join me. Um in the next few episodes she would have been in this episode but technical difficulties um so what the fellowship medieval mod pack is if you don't know is it's basically just a minecraft mod pack and i find it really cool because it has its nice bit of blacksmithing Okay, um, sorry about that interruption. Um, basically what this is, is, yes, Lexi, god dang, can you shut up? Sorry about all the interruptions, but, um, but basically what this is, is it's a mod pack for Minecraft that has its fair bit of fantasy, um, new monsters, um, forging, magic, it has basically all you want in the game of Minecraft that you never really got with the vanilla experience. But now... Oh, and as you can see, it has the Farlanders mod. It's quite cool. Um, some of the mods that I know are included are Ars Magica, Tinker's Construct, um, Mind Fantasy. Uh, what else? Natura. Better storage, witches, and more. Um, I think inventory tweaks is on. Siege weapons is in. Lord of the Rings mod is in. Um, but it includes all sorts of mods. Most of them are actually some of my favorite mods. And I find mods like the Mime Fantasy mod cool because in vanilla Minecraft, alright, let's just get a few iron, go in a crafting table, and yippee, we've got some great armor. Now all we have to do is go find a few diamonds and we've got the best. But with this, and there are more tiers and it's harder than that. And that's one of the mods I'll really be getting into to, um, soon. Not quite today because we do have to get our basic tools to build the house or set up a base at least and do all of that. Another mod I'll be getting into a lot is the Lord of the Rings. That's what this is all based around, is that. Now, part of the reason I think that mod is cool is because A, it adds ale and mead and you can get drunk as crap unless you've got a bucket of milk on you. And, um, I'm not going to be doing that too often because it hurts my head too. If any of you know what I mean with that, then yeah. But it adds a lot of cool mods and cool generated structures that we can do. And one of my sister's, I think, probably favorites 
is the necromancy mod. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to confirm with her that she did like it. Except earlier, I had to reinstall the pack because someone um broke my mod. The not enough items mod. And I ended up every time I clicked on something in my inventory, it got duplicated. When did Minecraft music become so annoying? Um. Anyway. Uh. So. I guess we should probably be searching a little harder for a place to call home. And I really don't want to settle in the jungle, I just want to be kind of close to it. If you know what I mean with the whole A, the jungle provides lag, and B, um, well it's a jungle, there's nowhere to build really. I'm definitely getting cocoa so I can make some chocolate milk. Make some cookies too. Oh, another thing, we're gonna have to find ourselves is some sugar cane. Well, first off, let me make sure cheats are off in the inventory. Where are my recipes? Um, so I think this episode we're just going to be on the search for sugar cane. Because we need that to make our armor, our tools. And for those of you who were wondering, wait, why do we need sugar cane for armor and tools? Is it one of those weird tinkers construct things? Um, no, it is not. For those who don't know, um, in the mind fantasy, I was wondering a little while ago, well, I mean, Leather's nice and all, and when you kill a cow, it drops a hide, not leather anymore. And I was wondering, well, how do you get leather out of that? And is this gonna. No. What, what's up with my not enough items? Oh well. Well, anyway, I was wondering, how do I make leather? And I looked up uses for a hide, and saw you craft it with salt to make a hide ball, which you then run through water to make a cured hide. And I was wondering, well, how do I get salt? And the answer to that is... You take paper and just get into water and right click and it'll turn into salt on a sheet of paper. I got some of those hides. This is fine, it, sh it wants me to get this case. There is. Oh. Yes. Lexi, of course a Harry Potter mob would add butterbeer. Um. 
glad we're collecting a lot of other here because or hides because we're gonna need these. Each of these will turn into about three leather in the end of the process of refinery. So they're quite nice to have. And you know what? Let me go back and kill some of these sheep. I don't know if they have additional drops for any of these mods, but I do know that they're gonna drop wool. Oh, what do you know? Go to kill a sheep and find another cow. God, this jungle, there are seeds everywhere. Oh, it's cow paradise out here. Alright, so right now we're just collecting a lot of hides, and the reason behind it, we need leather for basically everything in mine fantasy. Oh, I want um, one of those nice new pickaxes. Yeah, those look cool. Well, you need leather and a lot of iron. Oh, and if any of you know exactly how to tame a chocobo, that would be nice to know if you would leave that in the comments. Because I've tried feeding them all the different fruits from that mod, and they just won't love me. Why, why don't the chocobos love me? God, I'm just mining a cow. I just killed that cow with a pickaxe. Oh, yeah, kill cows with a pickaxe. Next thing you find, patch of melons. Doesn't the world love me, guys? Um, okay, but, anyway, I would quite like a chocobo, and I would also like to find some sugar cane between the episodes. I mean, the chocobo will definitely have to wait a little while, but we need that sugar cane quick. Oh! Look on the map, guys. Looks like a city. I think we know where we're going. So, I'll see you guys next time, and I'll probably have a little more done. So, bye. Lexi, say bye. Bye. I'll see you guys next time on Fellowship Fridays.